So here you are again with me, Richa Bhaki, an NLP-based personal excellence coach. And you asked me, but Richa, it is not so easy to let go of the need for perfection. And what if I am lesser than what I want to be? And what if my job requires that much perfection? These are three very different scenarios. We'll take, take them one by one, okay? So first of all, when you're talking about not being able to let go of perfection, you got to ask yourself, is your need for perfection uh, more important than the distress it is causing you? Is it more important for you to be unhappy and to cause other pe people anguish than to let go of this need for perfection? It is always a choice and you have to make the choice. Nobody else is going to do it for you. The second part where your job, it requires you to be perfect. Let's say you are making rockets and uh, somebody's life or death depends on your perfection. Then of course it does. But then you got to ask yourself, if you're not doing such an activity, then is your need for perfection just because you want to be as perfect as a rocket scientist or engineer? Maybe your job does not require that. Maybe whatever you are doing requires you to be good enough and it requires you to turn things out on time. Maybe your hobbies require you to just come at them and just keep doing them. Just keep practicing your hobbies and skills. Is there a need, a real need for perfection over there? Maybe the perfection will come over a period of time the number of flaws or mistakes that you make, they will go down over a period of time. And the other question where, will letting go of my need of, uh, for perfection, will it make me less than perfect? So you got to ask yourself, my dear, is your need for perfection making you any perfect? If it is, then maybe it is resourceful for you to try to be perfect all the time and please keep at it. But if it is not and it is creating more distress for you, then again, you, got, you get to take the choice. You uh, make the choice about whether you want to be perfect or whether you want to be good enough and not cause distress to yourself. You can also have the opportunity to be very, very good at what you're doing by not chasing absolute perfection. You can have specific goals for yourself to achieve at specific points in your timeline, the completion of which, the achievement of which means that you're progressing in your skill level and you're going step by step near perfection. Having specific goals makes you closer to perfection than having a vague idea about perfection and never reaching there. Hope this helps and keep watching my channel. Tell your friends and subscribe to it because I'll be sharing all such amazing understandings that I have realized with my work with my clients. See you again. Bye.